is I have just treated treated oh, oh my god thrifted um uh, some things from an XUK shop. If you follow me for quite some time you know that I like thrifting everything literally everything so I'm definitely going to unbox them with you guys I like how they packaged everything for me so the first thing I got is a cup is how it looks I really really wanted uh, teacups for quite some time I wanted a black one but I didn't get a black one so this is what I got this is how it looks just a simple one and this is the shape that is how it looks that is the first thing I got. I got two of such type. This is the other type. The other one I got the same size. So that is that. Those are the two cups I got. The other mug. Let me just call them mugs. The other mug I got is this one. This is too cute. I really, really love it one problem with thrifting is you cannot get um, one thing which looks the same as in like four of the things you want which look the same so I got this is how it looks this is the shape I really really love it then the other thing which I'm really excited about is the other thing i got is um a wine glass i really, really love how unique this wine glass looks so this is how it looks the stem is a bit longer compared to the other wine glasses so this is how it looks, it's quite quite beautiful and the shape is very very unique. I got two of these, I thought there were three so I'm now so shocked when I'm finding that there are two of them. I'll just go back and ask her about it. This is the other one, so I was lucky to get these two type which look the same. I broke my wine glasses so they are now replaced so that is all I got today from the XUK shop and I really really love everything I got so I'm just going to wash them and uh, probably even use the wine glasses right now hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is Betty Mwini in case you are right on a subscribe I don't know how much you mean to me so in this video I know I did not upload last week but I had something which was working in which was in the progress so I have decided to literally decorate my kitchen my kitchen does not look that good I'll definitely show you the before I, I don't know how clear this video is because I'm missing the back camera this is John I keep on saying that so I'm from town I'm from Kamukunji I wanted a wallpaper and a contact paper but wallpapers are uh, the wallpaper I wanted is out of stock so I ended up getting a black it's a black marble um contact paper i got three of these i hope they'll be enough then i got um a soap dispenser a dishwash dispenser i i saw this in a uh, kilotes uh video and i was like i really really love the aesthetics of this thing let me just figure out how to use it i really love the aesthetics of this um dispenser and i would love to have it in my kitchen so i'll definitely show you the one i was using because mm -hmm. my kitchen is the ghetto it's the ghetto if you guys know i really don't like showing uh, my kitchen most of the time but we are working on it so the other thing i'm uh, working on is shelves 
I want the cloth shells. I'm also going to transfer this to the other side. Mm, that is the only thing I'm going to work on. I wanted a dish rack, but I the dish rack I wanted would occupy a lot of space in in here. So I'm still I'm still going to use the one I have. So I I'll put I'll have to go to work here. I'll put like um some of the contact paper with you guys not some i'll put the contact paper with you guys i'm having the shelves installed tomorrow i'm so so much excited about this kitchen because i've not been having the urge to cook for some time now and i think it, it's another time so let me put uh contact paper with you the other thing i added is this glass i thrifted this glass this is how it looks then the other thing is um it's this spoons holder this is how it looks this is supposed to be a deco piece but in the meantime i'll use it as a spoon holder spoon storage <laughs> comes with this i don't i'm not a, a, i'm not i don't love cuts but anyway i but this is my sister my sister loves loves cuts so cuts so we went with this let me just figure out how to put the contact paper because this is my first time ever doing it then uh show you the outcome guys and the process definitely Guys, I almost forgot to show you the before. So, look, look at the, the oil dispenser I was using. Seriously, not oil. Sorry, soap dispenser. I'm also planning to remove everything on this window because I'm putting a uh, contact paper here. So this is how the kitchen looks currently. So basically, this is the before. Another contact paper right there.
guys well i feel like this video is all over but i left for work and left uh when i, I had installed the contact paper like halfway so i'm back to finish up with the contact paper passed, passed by the fundi uh he'll be here tomorrow to install the shelves then i passed by the xuk shop i get my things and i got this one i hope you guys can see me i got this is like a tray somehow so this will act like um as we call it a standard manini for putting uh, the soap dispenser the the scoring pads and everything needed to wash utensils will be put in here then the other thing i got is um this looks like a vase it's written coffee it's um since now the theme of this kitchen will be black i figured figured out that some things will be my should be bright so i got this i know i had talked about where i'm putting my spoons but found this and i was like i'm going home with you so this is what i got it's white in color i love how it looks uh i'll definitely use it for any other thing apart from putting spoons that is if screen and tarinua those beautiful beautiful spoons so this is how it looks quite cute so i got this too this is what actually took me there then i found this and i had to go home with that so yeah let's just continue with the contact paper installation we finish up then uh, i think after finishing up i'll definitely see you guys tomorrow when i'm installing the not installing i'll not be the one installing when we are installing the um, the shelves another thing guys i don't know whether i have told you that but um the theme of the shelves will be white so this is um brown in color so i'm thinking about painting it to white I just don't know <laughs> I don't know and I also don't know whether I mentioned that this one needs to be lifted adiukoju kabisa because I need like a space up and so I hope you guys can see me but I need this to go a little bit higher because it looks too low it looks makes the kitchen looks too bulky I know how you how I know you understand what I mean the other thing is I want it close I think I mentioned that I cannot wait for the kitchen transformation I really really wanted to transform this kitchen for quite some time now but I think it's the right time so let me finish up figure out whether I'll paint this I'm in Tafania Nini then I'll have to remove it obviously mm, and I'm literally here alone my sister has just left today I'm here alone I don't know how I'll survive. Anyway, I've survived before, but I don't know how I'll survive from now onwards. But guys, let me just stop talking. Continue with uh, the installation. Another thing, guys, if you have realized, there are some parts I have removed contact papers, upper candle. And when I looked at the video, I was like, uh -uh, I, I was not supposed to do that because it looks quite good. I, I was thinking about putting the contact paper on the um, countertops alone. But looking at that video, I feel like I should put it... <laughs> In the entire kitchen so i don't know how that will look like but anyway i start work i hope it will turn out looking good because i don't love the tiles so let's just do that guys i think ignore how um that looks like look at that stain guys look at that uh the water in here is hard water so it definitely stains the white tiles just cannot wait to get rid of that because it does not look good so that is what i wanted to show you then uh we continue with our installation
guys this is the next day good morning so this is where we are currently so this is what i was talking about yesterday i need to get a new scoring pad the my yesterday's um supper dishes i need to do them so i moved everything from the shelf uh because i i this one will have to be lifted up kidogo so imagine this are my utensils like okay anyway let's not talk about that so the other thing i did is i did paint the shelf only on, on only on the outside so i did paint it i'm thinking of removing those shelves those ones uh they're not giving me the vibe <laughs> anymore so i'm thinking of removing them so this is where we are at currently i'm waiting for fundi to come and install uh the rest the other shelf the other shelf needs to come right here see right here right here i also wanted to spray paint to paint uh, the windows black but uh, no, it's okay the other shelf will come here the cooker will now move to this side yeah so that is what i'm up to i hope this will look good i hope uh, the way i envisioned it it will look quite good let me go a little bit further so the thing those things will have to move from there because they don't look that good right there and there guys i still have dirty dishes on in that thing just left for work who did not come in the morning so he's on his way right now i don't think i'll make it um recording that i've also done done shopping i'll do a haul after everything is done so i've just removed everything on top of there and oh my god this looks up i think i'm going to wash the utensils after all this is done this is how the house looks currently um i'm just too excited for this guys i've fundies have left and what i'm doing is uh you can see those holes right there i'm feeling i, I had a filler i'm feeling that i paint them i do not uh want a black cabinet i was so shocked when he brought black anyway then uh, that is how that part looks like i have put that one up there he has installed that for me so I think I'll see you after I have painted and washed everything. This, this is the situation I'm having right now. The other thing is I wanted such a storage, let me just call them crates, to put them on top of the cabinet, but they are too big for that, so I'll figure out where to put them because they are too big for that. Then let me just finish up. And see you guys after I'm done. Either tomorrow or maybe today at night. Guys, let me do a haul of what I got from the supermarket. I got this Hanan tendril uh, tissue. Then the other thing I got is um, this bath soap, Venta. Then uh, I just want to do a quick haul. I got area that is area. Oh my god, this is. I took the the pink one. Okay, anyway. Then the other thing I got is um, cooking oil. I got two liters, as usual. Then I know my video is all over, but I just want to put them where they're supposed to be. Got this um, the lot. This is lotus wheat flour. Never used it. Then. Uh, the other thing is uh, Raha Premium. I've been using Raha Premium and I still I have a lot of paint. I've been painting this cabinet. Then I got Queen Cakes. This is what I've been having. This is on the only thing I got from uh, Quick Mat. 
as I had mentioned. So I want to store them where they're supposed to be. And yeah. Hi guys, good morning. This is the next day. I'm here to show you the final look of this space. So this is literally my door. This is how you enter uh, my space. Then we down there, that is where I put my gas cylinder. And that stool is there because it, I really want to use it to reach the cabinets. They are quite high for me. So that's why we have the stool right there. Moved the gas from the other side to this side. If you knew here, the gas was right there next to the TV stand. I moved it right here. So this is how the situation is right here. We have that cabinet right there on top. I'm going to open the cabinets for you guys. So that is how this area looks like. Then after that, we have the kitchen window. I did not change anything. Then I think you have seen me uh, put this one. I'm definitely going to change uh, that scoring pad. I guess it's called a scoring pad. That is how it looks. Did not change uh, the rack. Then this corner we have the situation going on. That is the situation going on th right there. That is how it looks. I'm yet to remove those wires uh, up mm, on top of the chopping board and put some frames right there M probably later then that is the other cabinet i ended up painting it guys i did paint it uh that is how it looks then down here if you guys remember uh this place used to look so so bad this place did not look as appealing <laughs> as i wanted you can see we also have a stain right there so i bought this um crates let me just call them crates were supposed to go on top of the cabinet and storage but they ended up being too big for the space so i just put them down there you can see we have some shopping in there so that is where i'm putting my shopping i love how minimal it looks then uh, i don't think there is any other thing what is literally irritating me currently is that uh wire that is the my area wire and so yeah that is how the space looks like i feel like i love it i i see the change i have enough storage nothing is scattered in the kitchen and i love the black theme